It is great seeing my next guest back in action. UFC Fight Night, April 16th. It's Kevin Kroon back here on the program. Kevin, how's it going, man? What's, oh, man, doing very well. Very well. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Always good talking to you, man. Look like you got a full camp for this one. When did you find out? Heck yeah. Um, I think it was about eight weeks. About eight weeks out. So, uh, shoot, that's been been about five weeks ago. Five, six weeks, something like that. Good. Yeah, yeah, so full camp. Good to go. Good stuff, man. Um, I know the last couple of fights uh, not, not gone the way you wanted. What have you sort of taken away the most from your last two fights that you're bringing into this one? Uh, man, like, uh, obviously, my last fight I took on, um, what, three days notice, three days yeah. notice. Something. Um, and I got to show so many improvements in that fight from my last fight. Um, uh, obviously, the, the Caceres fight before that uh, was a big, big turning point for me. It was a hard loss. I didn't perform uh, anywhere. Um, I think that was my worst performance I've ever had. Uh, and I really just put my nose to the grindstone after that. And I mean, my, my career has kind of just been me doing that again and again and again after time, you know, losing and then just, uh, putting extra time in the gym and just keep on going. And that, that's why I'm at where I'm at now. And I think even though, uh, like the last one didn't go the way we wanted, I showed a bunch of improvements in that fight. And now I have a full camp, uh, and I'm going to be incredibly ready. Uh, and I'm really excited to show the rest of my improvements in my game. Uh, I've re really leveled up. And a fun opponent here in uh, Antelang, uh, 14, eight and two record. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, definitely, uh, a good, good opponent. Uh, I don't think, uh, he will be hard to find. Uh, definitely. I have like maybe a seven and a half inch reach on him. Uh, uh, something like a, a, at least a five inch high, uh, advantage. Not that that doesn't matter. He, he is a banger. He's going to uh, come in. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, with my last couple fights, I've been fighting people who are a little bit more elusive. They've, uh, moved around a little bit more. I, I don't believe I will have to try quite as hard to find him. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, training camp. How's everything going at glory? Uh, who you mainly been working with, uh, leading into this fight? Uh, everything has been going spectacular. Uh, really, the biggest thing with this training camp has been my diet. Cutting to 35, been working hard with uh, Tyler Minton on that. Uh, the melee way, nice. Feel really good. Other, uh, other than being hungry, uh, I, I'm in the best shape I've ever felt. I feel uh, spectacular. Um, I think this is probably the longest I've ever gone without having ice cream since I like – I've had ice cream. Uh, um, camp's going really good. Uh, I was training every day with Tim Elliott for his last fight. So um, uh, he is now, you know, taking a couple weeks off. Uh, and so I've kind of uh, switched up. Uh, I'm training with uh, Don um shanus uh Shane, shameless dawn a lot uh there's a few other guys um mike mikey young um trying to just work with that somebody that, with the height uh advantage on them yeah okay that's good sounds like a pretty good camp i know one name that you haven't had a chance to work with because i know he's not at your gym anymore is grant dawson how much of a, a loss is that just because uh, i know grant was really good in the room and also a good training partner yeah yeah most definitely uh sad uh for sure he's, he's my best bud you know i mean i miss him uh but you know i mean i wish wish him nothing but luck in in moving on and you know i mean i had to kind of go on and move move around and, and leave and uh come back and everything so yeah man i i get it and it's sad but you know obviously wish him nothing but the best yeah it's uh, just part of the business as they say uh, i imagine james Krause will be in your corner who else is going to be in the cage with you that night uh, yes, sir. Um, James Kraus, um, Gage Young. He's a, a savage up and comer, a young stud. And actually, my father is going to corner me. Um, nice. I'm really, really excited about that. He he's never cornered me before. Um, but like with you know COVID and everything and all the restrictions, he he can't get tickets. You know, the only tickets they have are quite pricey. And so uh, you know, since I have have a good coach and I got Gage to to work with, we decided to have my dad come. So I'm I'm excited for that. That's awesome, man. Uh, I know you feel like you're going to get your hand raised. Otherwise, why sign the contract? How do you see the fight playing out on April 16th? Uh, man, I mean, I, I um, believe that I can finish this fight 100%. Um, I think I can uh, finish it, you know, uh, in 
the first couple rounds. However, I have the the length. I have um, uh, he has to come into my danger factor for any fight to happen. Uh, I believe I, I could out jab him. I could just jab him and win with the jab the entire time. Uh, you know, that's not really my style. I, I like to, to mix it up a little bit, but uh, I plan on staying rangy and kind of pot shotting him. Uh, I got seven and a half inches of reach. I plan on using that. And uh, like you said, walking away with my hand up and, and with a finish. How many more fights do you have left in your contract? I was trying to figure that out because if I'm not mistaken, did you not sign a four fight deal when you came in the UFC? I yeah yeah four fight deal um, and then taking that uh, taking that short notice fight this last one they gave me another fight so oh, cool. I'm not sure if that if that if that means it's a five fight contract I'm not sure exactly what it is uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I have I think I have another one after this fight. Gotcha. I would think so too, because usually when it's the second last one, you you know, obviously there's some talk of renegotiating and all that. So hopefully that's yeah. all good. Um, downtime. What's that looking like during camp? I know you're a busy guy. Are you getting any TV time, video games, anything like that? Yeah. Um, I mean, I I feel like I've I've been napping so much. Uh, <laughs> my uh, my last couple weeks has been gym, cooking, napping, waking up, cooking gym uh yeah uh getting some getting some uh uh i, I watched euphoria oh HBO, i watched that HBO. i watched that uh i watched that last friday man that's a it's been a weird season man but in a good way it's crazy yeah yeah it was weird like there was a couple there was an episode that like i couldn't get through and it took me a while to like get through it but uh yeah man it's a strange show but yeah i like it it's um, different right that, that's what uh, keeps me in it too you don't know where, where they're gonna go next with it right yeah, 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 and I mean the yeah the last finale or whatever that's got me hooked for sure. Yeah. Um, and then I'm rewatching The Wire. At the oh, moment. cool. Okay, yeah, like, I know another that's, classic. I know that's like old. That's like one of my favorite shows. So good stuff. Uh, we got to watch you, man. April sixteenth, UFC Fight Night. It's coming up here right around the corner. Kevin, always appreciate the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts, I'll give you the last word. Heck yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, Kevin Kroom underscore UFC on all social. Um, yeah, I just want to uh, thank Iridium Sports Agency, my management, Joe Wooster, Jason House, um, obviously James Krause, the man, Glory MMA. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's pretty much everybody. Uh, appreciate you. Glad to be on it once again. Let's go. See you guys April 16th. Let's that's do right. it.